Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing about DynamoDB, Local Secondary Index, and Global Secondary Index. First of all, DynamoDB is a fast and flexible NoSQL database that is being designed for applications that need consistent latency at any scale. It is a fully managed database, as well as it supports flexible data model with no database schema upfront. DynamoDB widely used in gaming and, any, and many other applications. So in today's topic, as we, we will be focusing only upon the index. So there are two types of indexes we are going to discuss, that is local secondary index and the global secondary index. For your knowledge, like index is a data structure which allows you to perform queries on specific columns in table. So first of all, in the local secondary index, it can only be created while creating the table. It cannot be added later on or modified or cannot be removed. So there is no such option in DynamoDB of creating local secondary index once the table has been created. And we can use the same partition key as the table, but we have to provide a different sort key. So in order to have a proper idea about the partition key and the sort key, you can just look into my previous video. So in which I have clearly mentioned about properly about this partition key and sort key. Moving on next to the global secondary index, it can be created at any time, even during the table creation, as well as later on also. And it should have a different partition key and a sort key. So in today's video on hands-on, I will show you how to create a DynamoDB table, how to create an item, and using the global secondary index to fetch the data, as well as I will show you the local secondary index also. So let's move on to the console, management console. So here we can search for the DynamoDB. Okay, let's go ahead and create a table. So I will put the table name, order underscore details. So we, need, we can see over here, we need to provide the partition key. Let's say I'm putting the order ID. Let it be some string and sort key. Let's say order amount. We can keep it as a number. In order to know more details about the partition key and the sort key, you can see my previous video. Now here, over here, you can see over here, under the settings, we have the default settings. And by default, you can see over here, using the provision capacity mode, read and write capacity are set to five units each. So you can see there are no secondary indexes can have been created. Queries will run by using the table partition key and sort key only. So we will do one thing. We will just go to the customized settings over here. You can see there is a very nice capacity calculator depending upon the average item size. Uh, we and defining the item read per second. And also we can choose over here read consistency, whether we want eventual, strong or transactional. And also we can define for the write also. You can see the read capacity units one, write capacity units one region over here and the cost estimated cost is point. $5.9 per month. So we can utilize this calculator in order to calculate the average cost that it will cost us to read and write capacity units. Now, uh, moving on this one, there is auto scaling option is there. I will just click off over here. We can define over here how many minimum capacity units and maximum capacity units when we reach our target utilization of how much percentage we can define over here. But for the time being, I'm just keeping it off over here. So I'm just defining two provision capacity units. And similarly for write capacity also, I will define over here. Now you can see over here, we are getting over here the option to create the local index as well as global index. Now here below you can see over here, total read capacity units two, total write capacity units two, and the region over here, US East one, it is estimated cost is $1.17 per month. We can keep the encryption at rest. By default, it is owned by 
we can just keep it on owned by Amazon DB. Tags, no need of defining. Now, before creating the table, let's create one local index. So once you click on the local index, you can define your sort key. So here I'm going to define the sort key order underscore item. And I'll keep it as a string. You can see index name will be order item hyphen index and the projections, attribute projections, let it be and by default, keep it all. All of the table attributes are projected into the index. So let's create the index over here. So our index has been created and let's go down and create our table. It will take a few minutes to create the table. We can refresh from here. Okay, now it's active. So once you click on this order details, you can see over here, uh, details about your table overview, how many indexes it is having, zero global and one local. And we can see the indexes over here also. You can see over here, global secondary index, we have the option of creating, as I said in my video earlier, like we can create a global secondary index anytime after creation of the table also. But in case of local secondary indexes, you can see we don't have the option just once before before the table is being created and that while the table creation only, we can create the local secondary index. After that, we cannot do anything with the local secondary index. Let's go ahead and view the items. We don't have any items over here, but interesting thing over here, you can see uh, we can put, uh, we can choose over here by table or by index and we can put the order ID and we can also put the order item. But before that, let's let's add some items to it. Let's create on the item, create item. So order ID, let's say one, two, one. Order amount three, five, zero, zero. And we can add a new attribute order order underscore item let's say iPhone and that's it create item so you can see over here we are getting over here index order item and we can put the ID and you can see over here we can choose over here but a table over here or the ID one to one and we can choose over here sort key if I'm choosing over here index so I have to put the one to one order ID and the order item that is a sort key that I can put it over here iPhone let's run this one so we can see we are not getting any results over here let me change this one to iphone so you can see it has returned one value that is our order id and order amount and order item this is how we can use the local secondary index now let's do one thing let's move on to the tables over here let's click on the order details table and we'll go to the indexes and we will create a index over here so let's say i'm defining over here Just for a new partition key, we can define it. Let's say we are defining order date. And this one, we can keep it optional. And we can click on the customize settings. 
but if you don't want it you can see we have the option over here copy from the base table so automatically you can see it has copied all the provision capacity units for read capacity and write capacity from the base table so same amount we it's charging and projections so you can see it can take up to five minutes for creation of this global secondary index so let's create over here So you can see it's still creating. Okay, let's see the all the details table. You can see the index has been created and it's active and our index name is order underscore date. So let's go to the items and create one item, one more item over here. You can just click it back, create item. So order ID, let's say one, two, two, the amount 4,000 and name attribute, let's say order underscore date 2021 11, 11. Okay. Create the item. So let's go back to the order details table. Now you can see over here in the query, we are getting over here our both the indexes order date. So you can see just I'm getting the option over here or the date over here. So I can just put it over here 2021. 11, 11, and I can just run this one. So I think some mistake is there. Okay. So you can see it's returned this one and read capacity units consumed is 0 0.5. So if I go to the scan option, you can see over here, we are getting only the table and the index, the whole index over here. If I go to the query, you can see if I choose over here, the local secondary index, I'm getting the order ID, that is our partition key, as well as a sort key that is equals to or whatever it is, greater than, less than, I can define over here. So depending upon the local, I can see the dependencies between various attributes. And here globally, when I'm choosing this global, Secondary index, you can see over here, I can just go ahead with the partition and I have the options over here, filters. So what filters I want to add it over here. Let's say I want to choose, let's put some other date also. Let's put one other item that we can have more clear idea. Let's go to the item, create item, let's say one, three, under amount 5,000, add new attribute. Let's say it's a Samsung phone, add another string, add a discovery date. 2021, 11, 12. Let's put the same date. So let's go to the, all the tables. Now you can see over here, under this, we can apply the order ID, order item equal to, let's say, partition key 123, dot key value Samsung. And I can also add some other attributes. 
See, it's returning one of them. Similarly, if I go to the order date index, order date, if I put it over here, 2021, 11, 11. Then if I run this one, so you can see it's returning me two results. And you can see it is, as I said in the earlier video also, like DynamoDB is no SQL and it is not depending upon the schema. And you can see all the item is coming over here, returning two based upon the query that we have provided. So we can see our whole records over here. We can just remove the, uh, the date, but we need to make it whole table over here. On to ID, one, two, or we can just go ahead with the scan in order to scan through the whole table. Just all the details, so you can see all the details are coming over here. After Finishing this, uh, the whole hands-on, I will recommend you to delete the table. Otherwise, if it is in the free tier, you won't be charged. If you're not in the free tier, you will be charged for the provision capacity, read and write capacities. I'll just delete this one. It will delete the indexes also. And we can. See, there are no more any tables over here. Okay, that's it. I hope you liked the video. Please do like, share, and subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching the video.